Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am sure you are liking our content. If so, make sure to click on subscribe button down below. So let's talk about today's session. In today's session, we have very special guest with us, Ravindra Yadav, who is heading QA department in Prover Testing. So let's hear it from Ravi. So Ravi, please introduce yourself to our audience. Sure. Hi Jatin. Hi Tarun. Hello everyone. I'm Ravindra. I'm quality enthusiast. I've been in testing and automation since the beginning. Uh, I've worked in different roles and different profiles like automation engineer, consultant, trainer, a bit of sales and pre-sales and a test architect in the past. But currently I'm working as a head of QA in ProR and hence most of my experience is in Salesforce ecosystem. So I think that's pretty much short and precise about me. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you for your introduction. As you mentioned, like you have experience in Salesforce testing, right? So according to you, like what makes Salesforce testing so challenging? Uh, sure. Uh, to start with, Salesforce is a complex application, especially from testing and automation point of view. So if you've seen Salesforce application uh, in the front end at UI layer, it looks like a normal web page that you can simply inspect find out the locators and create your automation script, but it is not what it looks like. It has a complex structure in the backend. I mean, it has multiple layers behind the scene. For example, it has a database layer, it has Heroku content data site layer, and then application and the UI layers. It has a few other complex factors as well. Like uh, it, it gives you capability to integrate with 30 applications, uh, the security, the permission set, all these factors make Salesforce really complex, especially from testing and automation point of view. So if I have to conclude in terms of challenges and if I have to point these out in numbers, so the very first one, I will say uh, it has a complex DOM structure. Uh, when I'm saying complex DOM structure, it means uh, when you inspect the page, you identify the IDs and other locators. These are not robust in Salesforce. Second one, uh, Salesforce does kind of internal framework changes usually. Uh, for example, if, if uh, the very first time I saw Salesforce, it was in classic mode. Now they change the framework to lightning, means from classic to lightning. They've changed certain internal terminology and internal frameworks like Aura to LWC. So these these are the factor that impacts automation and testing big time because the locators and everything you create definitely gonna break and you have to recreate all your scripts. So that is the second challenge. Third challenge, shadow DOM. It is a hot one in the, in the automation testing domain. So a few of the application like CPQ, Salesforce change the DOM structure into shadow DOM. So it means the script that you had created in the past definitely gonna break if you are using any coded automation framework. So that is another challenge. And the last one is about uh, Salesforce releases. So as we all know, like Salesforce does three major releases uh, in a year. And it means, so if you take a best case scenario, like you have a stable application, you are not making any your application, but with these Salesforce releases in, in the year, you might have to retest your application. You have to make sure like any Salesforce release is not breaking your application and functionality. So even in the best case scenario, you are required to test your application because those are most likely impact your application. And particularly talking about Salesforce release, I've categorized uh, these kind of changes in two categories. First, announced changes. When I'm talking about announced changes, uh, it means these are the changes that Salesforce announced. They mention in the release notes. These are mostly like functional changes and the UI changes. Second one uh, is about unannounced changes. So unannounced changes, when I'm saying these are the one uh, that impacts the automation testing most. For example, like the framework changes I mentioned about from Aura to LWC and the internal locator changes and changes from normal DOM to shadow DOM. So these are unannounced changes in the Salesforce release that Salesforce does not specifically point, but these impacts uh, automation script big time. So these are the few of challenges that I could think of uh, uh, in our in our session for now. Thanks, thanks Ravi for such a detailed explanation on Salesforce automation challenges. Now we are talking about Salesforce automation. Uh, so I want to talk about Prover specifically. So we say that Prover tests are unbreakable. 
so when we say that what do we actually mean by that okay uh, the simpler one because i have talked about the challenges so every challenge that i mentioned uh, can be solved by provar so provar is one stop solution for all those challenges so let's talk about them one by one the very first one i said about the complex storm structure it means the id and other locators are not stable so it is really true it is valid if you are using using any coded automation framework but if you are using provar provar works on a totally different terminology uh, it works on the metadata concept so means uh, if there are changes in means if you are using id or locator in your xpath uh, in selenium they are most likely to be impacted but in provar since it is it is using metadata and metadata is directly given by salesforce uh, so it means your scripts are robust so it is not dependent on the dom structure it is not dependent whether your ids and locators are robust or not whatever changes happen in the dom it doesn't matter to provar and the same script will work fine even if there are any changes second one uh, is about internal framework changes uh, i mentioned about uh, classic and lightning so in the very beginning we had our clients where uh, they were using classic application when everything migrated to lightning it was a big challenge like they might have to recreate uh, their scripts again so it means like spending the same amount of effort again it was a huge huge uh, activity it was a huge effort for our customers as well but with provar since it is using that metadata concept the same scripts the, that they were using for classic were working fine in lightning so they do they don't have to rework on their scripts and they were able to quickly test the lightning application with the same scripts similarly for aura to lwc uh, provar user doesn't have to worry about that because provar automatically handles that it doesn't matter whether it is aura framework or lwc framework same script will work fine uh, in provar in in both the cases third one was about uh, shadow dom enablement for cpq especially again same thing uh, the script we have created in the past will work fine here as well you don't have to worry about whether it is a shadow dom structure or a normal dom structure uh, you can directly execute your old scripts you can create new scripts directly in provar and everything will work fine uh, the last challenge uh, was about salesforce releases yes uh, salesforce does three releases in a year and provar is always ahead in the roadmap they are very closely aligned with the salesforce uh, roadmap they are always ahead in terms of supporting any new things coming in they are always uh, ahead in terms of making sure like your existing scripts are not broken if, even if they are like announced or unannounced changes so all those things like make provar uh, really unbreakable and a one stop solution uh it's it's not just these like provar is uh, end to end solution for salesforce it means uh, definitely i talked about ui in particular but it supports api web services this testing kind of thing it also supports integration with any ci cd tool any version control system so that makes like a one stop solution for everything in salesforce uh, and you don't have to worry about it because all these factor that i mentioned are the side factors if you have to focus on those factors you cannot focus on your functionality and on on your uh, new features so definitely provar uh, solves that problem and gives you the uh, flexibility like you can focus more on your functionality and on your application rather than worrying about these external factors hope i am able to explain that yeah yeah rabi that was that was a really good explanation like you mentioned various capabilities of prover now as we are talking about capabilities and features uh, what are the upcoming features we can expect from prover like which will makes uh, salesforce testing more easy and interesting definitely i mean a lot many new features and a lot many exciting features are coming uh, in future i may not talk about all of them officially here but a few uh, i can talk about definitely prover manager is the one that is recently released it is a big one uh, because that piece was missing in provar where you have to do a kind of quality management on on salesforce so with provar manager they are filling that gap now it is again when i mentioned about one stop solution that missing piece is added now it it looks like it's a complete solution uh, for salesforce quality if you want to maintain have a centralized position where you want to see all the results all your tests so provar manager definitely is a big one uh that is other than that uh, not talking about uh, anything in particular but anything that is coming with salesforce in terms of new features new releases provar is always ahead in terms of uh, supporting those new features 
Uh, I have mentioned uh, uh, all these, uh, a few of them uh, in my blog post recently, uh, in, in the last week. Maybe I can share the details with you guys and you can share it with your audience. And yes, uh, in general, Kova is always ahead in the roadmap and supports anything that is coming new with Salesforce services. Thanks, Ravi. That's really Thanks. good to hear, Ravi. Yep. Thanks, Thanks for sharing your vast knowledge with our audience. It is hands down one of the best session we have done. And we'll mention the blog post link in our description. So if anybody wants to have a look, can check the link in description. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.